Hi, James. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Oh, All there right. we go. <laughs> Can you hear me okay? So yeah. just... Cool. How are you today, Rebecca? All right? I am dandy ho. How about yourself? All right. All right. Very busy, very busy day, <laughs> as you would expect. I was having some porridge before you came on. I'm like, this is, you know, all right, you're recording now. It's a... Uh... I love a bit of porridge. What flavour is that? Oh, it's just the bog standard one because I, I should have got the syrup one, but um, I ate that one the other day. So, you know, it's all good <laughs> no. fun. It's all good fun. Oh, so, you had a good day at work and stuff? Yeah, very busy day. Very. A few moments later. Background. Don't Not worry about it. You'll be, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine. Righty ho. And what were right. the five questions? Or are okay. you just going to bring them up on me out, out of the blue? <laughs> I'll just, I'll try not to put you on the spot. So why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself and your background? Well, thank you very much, Rebecca, for having me on today and for everyone who is listening in. Um, my name is James and a bit about my background. Um, I went to university. I did accountancy and finance, for my undergraduate degree. Then after that, I went out to North Carolina, where I did a three month internship as a business office assistant out there. Yeah. So that was working uh, for two and a half months and then traveled down to Miami, Orlando, back up to New York, and then flew back. Then I, and I started on a ACCA graduates, graduate role, graduate scheme at a small local firm in Lincoln where I completed a, the remainder of my examinations where I got some exemptions, um, did my option papers, which were advanced audit assurance, which I failed, and uh, <laughs> then did uh, advanced taxation after that, again, which I failed, um, but we came back stronger from it, um, to which uh, after I left that role, I currently work as a university lecturer now, and it is going swimmingly. I thoroughly enjoy it, Rebecca, so yes, and with, with your vocals today, for everyone who's tuning in, Rebecca has a slight cold, everyone. So if, if she, if she uh, you know, sips on tea or anything, you know, she, she's doing a lecturing training today. It's all good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so then what, what made you decide then to go into teaching over, say, going into practice or going um, into industry? Uh, so when I was working in practice for those uh, three years or so, it, it was a case of I used to train all of the uh, new recruits or new students who came in. So they'd start on doing level three AAT or level four, or some people started say part qualified in ACCA. And you sit down with them and you take through the process, what the tax computations were, um, different working papers, liaising with clients, a variety of different things. I went, this is quite rewarding, isn't it? Um, and then a, a position came up where I'll be honest with you, I started at 24 and I've just, <laughs> just qualified. And you can imagine that some of the students, well, I can tell you now, some of the students were double my age there. So imagine teaching someone who's double your age and you just have to sort of sit back and you go, oh my word, right, time to demonstrate why you're good at what you do on these sort of things. Um, so I, ju I just fancied it, that was it. I just took the risk, took the plunge. Uh, it was a 12 month contract to start. And then, then after that, I uh, transitioned on to uh, full time, which is quite, quite scary, but yeah, enjoying it ever since, five years in now. Wow. And was it last year you won the PQ Magazine Award? Um, it was 2020. <laughs> so the last one before COVID face to face on there. Um, yeah, very, very overwhelming, I must say, going down there, Rebecca. And to be honest with you, the, the other guys who uh, and ladies who, who were also nominated, I got to speak with all of them. They're doing super jobs at different universities around the country. And it's just so nice to meet people at the event who, who have the same sort of passion to help students out wherever they are around the world. Um, and hence me sort of starting up my YouTube channel where I kid you not, I'll tell you a little story, right? I used to move house with my old ACCA books in bags because I'd always said to myself, I would, yeah, someone, someone will get some good use out of that, James. Someone would just record it, pop it online. I said, oh, yeah, I'll get around to it, get around to it. Didn't get around to it. And it was one day, COVID happened. And I was sat at home. I just went, you've got a full day. You've got all those books. You never re you've not recycled them yet. Post your first video. So I did. I was on the floor of my bedroom with all the books behind. And that was, that was genesis of the YouTube channel. That's amazing, though. <clears throat> That's good. Do you know what? That's strange because it's quite similar to my story. Um, 
you can't see to the left of me right now, obviously, but there is a rack of AAT and ACA books just sat there. And I was thinking the same thing, um, you know, with COVID happening and people not being able to access tutors in some cases or they just needed additional support. I thought, you know what, let's just do this. Mm. Post the video. And yeah, from there, here we are. It's just insane. I know. <laughs> it's all good. And now, <laughs> and now I'm getting a grilling, obviously. But uh, <laughs> And anyone who's watching, you know, feel free to put in the comments below if you're a Leicester City fan like I am, because obviously... I didn't, oh, really, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize it was in the background actually but hey ho <laughs> okay so then of the qualifications that you know you could have taken at the time why did you choose ACCA over the lights of say the ACA or even you know going down the tax route and doing ATT for example mm -hmm. yeah I mean um first of all when I was at university it was one of the first professional bodies that came in and gave a talk and and obviously showcased all the the massive advantages of it being the, the largest professional accountancy body in the world, with the highest number of members, globally recognised, your passport to go wherever you want to go to in the world, which I've always been keen to, to, to travel as well. Um, which, again, I, look, I did some research into the other professional bodies, SEMA, ICAW, ATT was another option, or CTA, if you really, really wanted to go down the tax route on there. Um, but but overall, it just everything I sort of read online was you, the broadness of ACCA and the recognition of it. And even since then, I've travelled around uh, the world to a variety of different places. And you mention it to people who are not in accounting at all. And you say, oh, I'm an ACCA member. And they go, I've heard of that from somewhere. I think my neighbour's husband's a ACCA qualified accountant, but it's staggering that people in marketing and advertising know about it as well now. So it, it was just the, the overall well-roundedness. And to be honest with you, I had the option of ACCA or ICAW at, my, at the firm I went to, and I picked ACCA because all of the ACCA members there spoke so highly of it as well. So that was really the nail on the head uh, that made me just say, yep, that's what I'm going for. But, but nevertheless, uh, we're in a world now where I have to be honest, even though we're being recorded now, that if you become SEMA qualified or ACCA or ICAW, that is mega that you are a qualified accountant on there. And Absolutely. it's going to open doors for you, no matter if you work in the UK, overseas, just getting qualified is, is the big step. Yeah. And I think as well, if, if you decided when you were studying to do the lights of SEMA as opposed to ACCA, there's, there's always the option later on to to go down a different career path it doesn't stop you um it definitely doesn't put you into a pigeonhole mm, yeah so. I, I know lots of people who, who are qualified ACCA <laughs> or they qualified ACA and then they actually did the other qualification as well because their, their job actually uh, wanted them to do it and they, they've got both qualifications so if you're really umming and ahhing hey ho maybe you want to do both it's up to you so what then did you enjoy the most about studying ACCA? Hmm, that's a that's a very difficult question because enjoy, enjoy. Um, there was obviously the days of when you get your results and it's all hunky dory and you get fifty plus and you're there going, oh, you know, I've oh, I've, just, I've just got this in the bag, you know, just just give me the give me the certificate now. Um, <laughs> But I, I get more enjoyment out of the hard work and the graft and the long days and the early starts and the late finishes. And you feel like you've really, really earned it. That's the other thing. Uh, and just to give some context to that, it was a case of um, I worked full time Monday to Friday and then I had to go to college um, on the weekends as well. And I had to do some evening lectures, which takes its toll on you. That's the thing. And uh, I talk about it on my channel where I, I put on easy, a stone and a half, two stone. Didn't look after myself very well. Poor balance. So that's why I try and advocate for it now. Just please look after yourself because I just got warped into just going to work, then studying, not running, all the rest of it. And uh, that, that's what I try and showcase now about working smarter rather than harder, which I fell into the trap of. Well, do you know I like that and I think a lot of people can relate to that because you know you you don't when you're going through something like the ACCA you don't want to hear the stories of oh it was easy you know I just flew through it etc you might be somebody who's struggling or 
yeah you know just trying to balance everything out is can be a struggle some days so so hearing you know your take on it yeah. and yeah uh, uh, you know we, we you've got to we've got to be uh you know open on these sort of things that there are lots of lots of things that you read online it's a case of oh i i finished all the exams all in one sitting and it was all marvelous and and here i am i'm all done when the actual reality of the fact is i get messages from acca students around the world that they're working numerous jobs they've got children they've got financial commitments um, they've got family uh, issues of other things that are happening and they literally just want some support i've, I've had people who are coming up to the 10-year cut off where they've had children and then you know that it, it's it's sort of do or die for them that they would literally have to pass in that sitting or they would not be able to get qualified and you go oh my word proper stuff they need some yeah. help let's do a couple of videos and that's why it's so pleasing that it could be the difference in someone going from a 46 47 failing to getting a 50 51 and passing you go oh gosh isn't that a great thing to just oh, God, i could sleep well tonight that's all right absolutely <laughs> and if if we um <clears throat> We'll do this at the end, obviously, and we'll put links to um, James's channel, but I'll put a link up here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> During no. the video for you. Get, get the editing <laughs> going there, Rebecca. <laughs> so that, just to make sure we put that in there for you, um, because James's channel is, you know, very, I'd say it's very broad. It covers a lot of different subjects and a lot of different, um, let's say, things that people are struggling with and all I can say is go go visit the channel because, yeah, I can't think of what to say now. Thanks. English words, Rebecca. <laughs> go visit James's channel. It is full of content, tips and advice. <laughs> it's like he's got one video, everyone. That's it. But <laughs> um, yeah, he's, he's literally just, I don't edit my videos, put it that way. I just put it from start to finish. We walk and talk it through and I'll just tell you how it is i'm afraid and if you, if you leave me a comment on the videos and if you've got any questions on this one leave it below i answer them down there as well so yes i hope that, that it could just be one thing or i can give you the link to something that can just help that's the main thing absolutely okay so then <clears throat> get those what? vocals going come on I know. <laughs> <laughs> so then what would you tell yourself then if you could go back five years Oh gosh, five years! Oh my five word, years. that that would be when I when I just left my just left practice and then started working at the university. I, it would it would be to well there are a few things. One thing is to read more on there. Definitely, I read more books now, audio books, lectures on YouTube, the whole lot of it. First thing that lots of people fall into the trap of just get qualified and then that's it. It's not it because I went on to do my master's uh, ACCA leaders of tomorrow program. So that would be the first thing reading, reading more is the first thing. Second thing is growth mindset on there. Just challenging yourself, setting new targets, trying new things, all the rest of it. And then thirdly is don't be afraid to fail. That is, yeah. it's, that is where the, the hardship, the long hours, the stuff that you go through, not everyone's going to like you, but th there's a famous quote out there that it goes on the lines of, you've got to do the things today that people are not willing to do in order to have the things tomorrow that other people will not have. And that's by Les Brown, if you've ever heard of him. I just heard that, I went, I oh, so right. The Those early starts, those late finishes, trying things new, getting to meet super people like you, and uh, oh. just putting yourself out there um it's it's just you're just looking for that one thing that's it so it could be just that linkedin message that you send to someone or that post that goes out it's just getting out your comfort zone and just saying to yourself and it's a tough question to ask yourself but it goes quite simply on the lines of this what do you want and and when you put it in context that someone may be working as a management accountant in Manchester and doing things in, in, their, in their career. They go, I don't actually particularly want to do that. Okay, first step. What do you want to do then? Oh, I quite like working this. Okay, now we can build from it. And it's just changing that. If I can help someone and that's what I try and advocate on the channel, then, you know, I always think I'll see you at an ACCA event in the future or something on those lines. Or um, I was out in a, in a bar in Guernsey and someone tapped me on the shoulder and went, aren't you 
you James from that <gasps> YouTube channel? I went, no. Celebrity. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was, that was funny. That was funny. But it just makes it all worth it, doesn't it? Good no, fun. absolutely. But um, I hope that explains to you uh, what, what I'd have wished I'd done more five years ago from it. No, definitely. Um, okay, then. So what tips and guidance would you have then for somebody who's watching the channel who wants to study ACCA or is thinking about the ACCA? Um, well, first of all, um, use all the free resources on ACCA's website. They put a lot of, <laughs> a lot of um, you know, people power into making those. So that'd be the first thing. Uh, secondly, try to go to as many of their free events as possible. Uh, and thirdly, get in touch with as many ACCA qualified members like myself on here that uh, you can join like one of my Instagram lives or something like that. And you could, just, you could just ask me any questions on it. That's the main thing. I just never had a someone around me, really, when I was first starting out. It was just like everyone has. It's like people at work. They didn't have someone else from an external party. So, yeah, um, don't be afraid to ask uh, questions on there. That'd be the best thing. I like that. There's definitely no stupid questions at all. Uh, you, you know, as long as it's not a stupid question about Leicester, then we're fine. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> okay, well, that's all of the questions that I've got on the Q&A. Okay. So we've, we've covered them completely. And it was a lot of fun. Well, that's all right. We're now, appro <laughs> we're now approaching the end of the video, everyone, where Rebecca is going to sing to you all. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> Well, on that bombshell, gosh. <laughs> well, um, in all honesty, thank you very much if you're watching to this part of the video. And uh, like I said, you know, feel free to check out any of my stuff. And if you've got any questions, just let me know. And um, thank you very much, Rebecca, for having me, Dav. I've, I've really enjoyed you're it. You're most welcome. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, we'll have to record some more. I've enjoyed it. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Lovely. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you.